Alright, all right, hello people. Hello, it's Ian and Dan with you again for another installment of Drongo. I was just going to do a mime thing for the whole episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's our new thing. Mimes. Yeah, we're, we're trying it out. Is there another word for mimes? Annoying? Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that, no. That's real good. Uh, so, we're playing Super Morph. Yes. Which is... Better than regular Morph. Yeah, yeah. It's Super because... But, have you seen the list of games on Super Nintendo that are called Super something? No. As well as the big list of games on Nintendo 64 that are something 64? I'm glad that they got a lot of Super things. Super? Because everything was like bright and shiny and it wasn't like all fucking like, and now it's grim. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Super Morph was a weird game I got given as a present when I was a kid. And I'd never heard of it before and I haven't heard anyone mention it since. <laughs> this may be the only copy in existence. Yeah, and it wasn't, it was only released in PAL regions. So, ma- namely, like, I think it was Scandinavia, <laughs> England, and Australia, I think. I just imagine, like, one dude out in Scandinavia and he's on this, like, mad throne with, like, a big axe <laughs> and a copy. Super, super and, and a copy of this game and he's like, they have found the other. I must go. It just like takes off. And it starts <laughs> rowing to Australia. But it, it's a f- weird game. It's a really bizarre kind of game. But um, we just start playing it. Dan hasn't played it, so he's yeah. he's gonna hel- helm the uh, the first go. Assuming of control. So um, we're just super off. We didn't get to see the little intro. I'll just. Um... We also have a third player, but he just won't sit still. His name is um Martin, and he is a moth. Oh yeah, Martin the Moth. And he's just all over the shit he's show. He's turning around being a little turd. Alright, so... Sorry, uh, I was watching Martin. Alright, so the point... If you pick a level, it'll do the introduction, so... Okay, well... So I want to go... go to the, oh, actually, what's the easy one? This one the, looks really nice. The it's garden like, one's usually a yeah. safe place to start. So uh, press stop. start, yeah. Okay. How did area level one? Maybe he's not going to tell you. Okay. Throw you in the deep end! Swim! Swim, you stupid son of a bitch! Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention... Um, Whoa. Yeah, it's weird. To jump, you have to press up. Okay. It is so crap. Oh my <laughs> god. You're one of those giant <laughs> bouncy balls! <laughs> Dude, it's like... Um, do you remember on old Nokia phones? They had that game, Bounce. Oh yeah. It's kind of like that, except before Bounce. So... God damn it. But that randomly changes you. Ooh. Ooh, you're a crowd. And I think you only have learned a number of changes. We're all going to exist on crowd. But did you notice Ooh. only music in this game? It's in the menu. Yeah, that is really weird. There's no music. None at all. It's an odd game. Now you got to use up one of your changes to go down. Uh-oh. Oh, now you're fucked. No. Oh, I reckon that'll turn you into a bowling ball. I mean the hole! <laughs> Stop jumping! I'm not jumping. That was just my regular bounce. <laughs> there you go. Now, when you hit the ground, you just start bouncing. Yeah. There's like a physics... And then that's the... Yeah, that's, the exit's right. That's the end of the level. With that... I just realised that seemed a little bit wrong. I'm going to give the thumbs up from now on. What did you do? I went, yeah! And then I went, I've got to stop doing that. Well, you didn't go, yeah! Yeah, but I'm just... I'm paranoid because I'm bald. Okay. And I like to wear black. And, and you have Nordic tattoos. Yeah, I've already been mistaken for a fucking dude once before, and it's really awkward. All right, try another... Well, another level. Give it another go. I'm going to go on this one. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, you got to collect cogs, because that okay. professor guy is... Um, What's his name? I don't know. Can we but your little, your little Jimmy Lumpkins, or whatever his name is. Really? I, I don't know what his name is. I made that up. Oh. But, it's like, what a really <laughs> weird name to just come out with. Yeah! Yeah! Break it all down! <laughs> <laughs> Break in the walls! Break in the walls! Yeah. But, um... You. Oh, yeah, so as this ball, you can get pop. Oh, can you? Yes. I better stop dicking around there. Yeah, the professor made this machine. It was like a dimension machine or yep. something. And it broke and all the cogs flew everywhere and you've got to find the cogs and fix okay. it. Wait. Hey, watch the fan because <laughs> you get sucked in. And... No. Oh, no. If you're a cloud, that kills you. Then yeah. You're a fucking... Bowling ball, yo. Fuck all you. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so in the game of rock, paper, scissors, acid beats bowling ball. You've come, come to, to a, a sticky, sticky end. end. Ah, he's got a it's pretty good. He's a fucking intelligent guy, this professor. <laughs> but still, even when I was a kid, I didn't really ever properly understand the mechanics of this game, like how to play it well. I was just useless at it. 
So I'm a, so I'm gonna just no one's gonna be able to correct me on my shit playing because this is probably the only copy of this game. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because I don't know anyone who has played it <laughs> either, <laughs> either before me or after me, except maybe. Ooh. Oh yeah, you run out of transformations and then die. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this one again. Wait, I, this is the garden area again. Yeah, we well, gotta. So, what am I not, like, aside from everything, what am I missing? Um, cogs. <laughs> so, so that's a cog. Bounce up first. See what's up there. I've, yeah. I don't know if you need oh. to. Oh. Eh. Eh. Okay, that's not going to work. Commence the bouncing, y'all. <laughs> oh, so you could probably go through the dirt there. Or if you turn to a bowling ball, you go through the dirt and get the treasure. Okay. So, which is, um, go through that little thing. Yeah. They go into that. It might transform you into something useful. Nope. A productive member of society. <laughs> I'm floating. Why would... Oh, fuck off. Bowling ball. No, it just puts you back into this. How did I turn one before? Aha! There you go. Yeah! Get, get all the treasure. Fuck yeah. They need to be cloud. Oh, so i got to change again. Uh, so the order that they are is what oh. button you press to get them. Okay. So there's like, what I do like about this game already is there doesn't seem to be a game over point. Uh, which I find very interesting. Yeah, I don't know what the car, you're wasting all your transforms again. Nah. Yeah, go up, keep going up. Jesus, Jesus man. <laughs> is it frustrating yet? <laughs> <laughs> not even playing it's frustrating. <laughs> Give me one last try and then you can show us how it's done. Oh, I gotta say, oh, it's you almost got it. It's kind of fun being like this weird bouncy. But thing. it's eerie how there's just no music. Ah, damn it! I get the cog anyway. See, I don't know if you went to get the cog and then the map, or yeah, use the, that and then go up and get that map thing. I oh, know you can't. You can't because you just float. Yeah, but you can transform. Yeah, but then I die. Stop that! <laughs> but yeah, if anyone uh -huh. has, if anyone has played this game before or heard of it, even by all means, comment on the video yeah. because you like, know, comment, subscribe. Yeah, because that douchebaggery that we do now. Yeah, yeah, do that because we need it, and yeah, just let us because know we're if, fucking worth it. God damn it! Yeah, we're like um, Carl Stefanovic, worth watching. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was trying to think of something utterly useless and then you just facilitated that. <laughs> but, uh, have you used your quota of... What? So you've got to finish the level with the cog and not use all of your transforms. You know what? G g give me a go. Give me a go. Let's try this. <laughs> I'm just flipping it over the microphone if you're worried. Uh, I'm going to try garden area. Yeah. I'm going to figure this shit out, yo. Yo. I'm a bouncy ball, yo. Agent of chaos. Ag oh, okay. Agent of chaos. Yeah, that's what I say everything is. Just you, you agent of chaos, you. Whoa. Well, that's dumb. It just turns you into water. Oh, yeah. Well, um, I want this awesome stuff. Yeah. Get the treasure. I like how angry he looks as a bowling ball, too. Oh, you also pick up transforms. So if I... i got to get out of here by going... Call... Oh, Whoa. look out. Okay, I what that was before. that? I don't know. Let's go... Oh, that didn't change me. Fuck no. yeah. Fuck yeah. Of course, that's the crowd one. Oh, damn. Maybe yeah. this will transform me into yeah, a it crowd. Does. There we go. And it could be a beautiful crowd. Now, let's hope I have not gone over my transforms. No, the bouncy ball is like unlimited. Okay, well, bouncy ball. No, it's not. See how they've all got uh, a number on them? So now you'd have to use your... Crowd. Crowd. <laughs> to get the the map thing. Yeah. Because I want that. Yeah. And then I'll go... Go this way. Oh, yeah, the stuff over there. Because there's more stuff this way. And it's going to stop myself from floating away. Yeah. And then I'll go... What, what the... And then you can come back on the other side. And you, yeah, it's just quicker that. than that stupid cloud. Yeah! See, I get double good noises when I pass the level. Yeah, see? So this is what success looks like. <laughs> it's a new it's a new sensation for me. Thanks thanks, Doc. 
Yeah, I appreciate it, Doc. You've been a top bloke. Oh, cool. I'm still in garden land. Mm. Right. I think water dies instantly over there, so let's just... Well, at least ball floats, but ball can't get out. <laughs> Fuck you, ball. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. You need to fix this. A small toddler. Just now, I've, I don't have... Oh, Jesus. I've only got... Now I'm dead. Okay. Now I've got to listen to that doctor tell me how much what pun has he got? Oh, no, sticky hand. I thought he'd be like... Oh, see, now you're just phoning it in, Doc. You need to really <laughs> come to the table with something useful. It's better material, man. Yeah. He goes, shit, no one ever plays this game. I haven't had to think up anything to actually say. <laughs> yep. How you doing? Uh, How you doing, Martin? Just chilling? Martin, no Martin. worries. Stay the fuck out of my cupboard, Martin. That's where my clothes live. Let's see if I can get over this gap. I have... Yeah! Fuck yeah! All Ooh, right. Yeah. Holy shit, now where have I got to go? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, now you got to be a bowling ball and smash that. Yeah, I'll see... Yeah, see the rest of the level first. Hey, there we go. You can do it! You can do come it! Come on! Yeah! Bounce! Rebound! Hey, Martin, come say hello. This is... <laughs> oh, jeez. Still... Thought I had him then. You thought you had Martin. Yeah, he flew You right never away. had Martin! <laughs> 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 Uh, I still would love to do that as a project. So, Vin Diesel, when you're watching this, because I'm sure you will. Ah, um, oh, damn it. Dan wants to write the Book of Vin. A series of, like, the Dalai Lama's pocketbook, except quotes from your movies. The Dalai Lama has a... Yeah. There's a Dalai Lama pocketbook. Yeah. Let's... It's pocketbook of wisdom, because, you know, us Westerners, and this is this thin, we're not going to read it. <laughs> but it's like, look, I know you've had this, like, lifetime of learning philosophy and stuff, but can you just really... People don't have a lot of time, you know? We're working in their cubicles eight hours a week, so we just need something small. Just something a bit more accessible, you can know? You, can you just boil down your whole life thing into just a small book? That'd be useful. Yeah, now... Oh, that was... Actually, you know who else has a book of wisdom? Um... Not Carl Stefanovic. Oh, uh, no. I was... You can do this. <sighs> it's going to restrict you to people thinking you're a skinhead. I was going to say Hitler has a book of wisdom. No! <laughs> <laughs> Tyrion friggin' Lannister, my oh, god! Oh yes, that is right. Just take that um, that Hitler joke with a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just relax in mine comfy chair over yeah. here and just calm your farm. Mine comfy chair is quite comfy. <laughs> I just got all that gold. You see that, yo? Yeah. Not going... Where's, where's map? Where be map? <laughs> Where map? But who was phone? Oh, what? Come on, I had heaps of transforms you had, like, left. Another four waters. What's that say? What is this, yo? Maybe. What? I did... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at him like that. That angry face. Gurg. I'm gonna wake up like tonight in a cold sweat. Just that. Oh, face. right. I have a certain amount of transforms. Yeah, of any Limited kind. of a certain kind, but then also overall, how many I can use per level. Aha. Uh -huh. So if you went right now... Oh, pardon me. It's looking a long day. Um, if you go two clouds, that kills you. Yeah, I'd be dead right now if I changed. So let's <laughs> I'll, get I'll double noise. Yeah. What is it? I'll be careful. You'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well done. Let's try this next level. Let's dominate. There's a map. Okay, I don't want to risk anything on that. Yeah, just have a look around. Ugh. Check it. How he just fucking Blech. swivels and stuff. That's what it looks like when I hit a friggin' brick wall. But now, okay, because I don't have a thing. i got a, a cloud, which I'm assuming I have to use. To get the map, I have to use the cloud and change back to something. But, okay, i got to, I got to find more transformations. Oh, you but should have done it. I... Gone. So maybe... Ah. Uh, so long, sucker. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that what? wasn't even witty. He just, like, rubbed it in your face. Try that one again. That was... There was no pun there. It was just a straight up, you suck. This game... It's a puzzle game. I get it now. But... Could they not have... No! Ah! I didn't change your bowling ball quick enough. Could they not have at least put music in I was wondering what you the... were doing then, because I was like... And now to do the exact same thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, uh, let's try again. Uh, yep. Um, this to bowling ball. Mm -hmm. No sucker's going to get me there. 
Ooh. Oh, you can change. So is that like free change? Yes. I believe... Yeah, it would be. That's oh, cool. Yeah, that's another change. Ah, oh, went up too high. Dern. Okay, Icarus, now you got to get down. Uh, okay, now let's figure out how to do this, yo. Come on. Come on. You can yeah. do it. Yeah. Holy crap, is that acid? Uh, it says acid. I want to get back and get that map part, but I didn't use my fucking... It's just hypnotic. <laughs> yeah, it's... I'm fucking... It's... That's going to look so shit when I play that back, because I'm going like this. I just realised how you know, stupid I must look. Nah. We go got, with it. We got the cog. It's a bit like... You ever seen someone that does this? Playing a game and they go... Oh, yeah. I used to play... Um, and they duck, they go... <laughs> I just played Super Mario 3, and uh, there was a level... I can't remember which level it was. Oh, this is... Bulldink! Bulldink. <laughs> this level... Oh, what? What was that? Wee, it's, it's a fan. Oh, crap. You have a fan. Boom. Oh, what? This is horse shit. You fucking dunskies! <laughs> what is... What's going on up in there, mate? Can you, like, for one minute not be a complete uh, fuckwit? You're I know I ran out of Trans 4. Trans 4? Looks like the game's glitching on us. Oh, oh, it's beginning. We're having some technical issues. Oh, God. Come on, hold together, baby. Oh, shit. What is that? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> now my controller's being unresponsive. Oh, oh I'm scared. Oh, shit. The, the man from Scandinavia, he's coming. Holy, that's eerie too. Look at it, it's like missing. No. Oh, it's so wrong. Oh, oh there we go. Go on, get it. Give us some water. Yeah. It's got the weird wonky oh, it's eye. it's fucking out on us. Uh, uh. Oh, God. I don't know if... I hope you all can see this, because this is... Men I, I seriously hope so. Oh, oh. we lost him. Shit. <sighs> Alright, that's enough. Um, well, that's all the time we have for Super Morph because... Yep. Um, it decided to be a jerk. Yeah, technical difficulties. Either something wrong with the Nintendo or the cartridge died. I don't know. I, my money's on the Nintendo because none of these games are working at the moment. Yeah, I was going to say, it does seem to be the uh, the console itself rather than anything else. But that's a bit of a pain in the ass because Super Morph had some... Uh, Hypnotic fun about it. I it was, was, just, I was sitting here the whole time, just like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was spinning me out. To be fair, though, like, from what I saw of it, um, I could have spent a while doing that. Yeah. Because now I kind of get it. It's a puzzle game. I wanted to get more into it. Yeah. But it's it might be one we have to revisit. I might get a uh, kind of refurbished Nintendo, and we'll try it again, see if we can get further. I like a, the sound of that, a refurbished Nintendo. Like, it's a, uh, well, you get the... a loft. <laughs> it's a studio apartment. You get the... Like the NES, yeah, because people replace the pin connectors in them, oh. and that's like refurbished and or maybe clean them up because you know and then they get all faded and yellow, look like someone's pissed on them or something. That deteriorated plastic that you touch it, and it's like <laughs> yeah, it's all brittle, super, like the stuff, super brittle. Like all these people shell. who leave their Nintendos in the sun, <laughs> as though people who play video games ever see the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're fucking you're bastardizing your own people, Daniel. Yep. I'm a people trader. That's what I do. Alright, well, um, so yeah, that's it for Supermorph. It did end up being, um, despite being weird and having no music, it was interesting. That, that is one thing about that game that I really found quite disturbing. I found, I always find it And Martin has arrived! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was peculiar. Oh, I had him then. So... It was good though. I actually now coming back and understanding the mechanics of it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I, I just, I don't know. I've got a real nostalgia and don't forget nostalgia is a mental illness. Um, For real? Yeah, that's what it was back in the day. I learnt something the other day. Wow. Yep. The, uh, the thing I found really interesting and what I love about those old games is like it's super colourful, it's all nice. Mm. And like even if you don't know what you're doing, you're just bouncing and I'm like, eh, I don't care, this is, this is good. Mm. It's a fun thing to do. You can just chill out with those old games. It's not like, you know, I guess comparing it to more modern day, like Modern Warfare and stuff like that, where they're yelling at you all the time. Oh, yeah. It's, Get over there and do this! Get on that gun! Yeah, you know, like, that game, even though it's just a puzzle game, maybe, no, nah, no no way it could be, you know, they talk about the Zen in games thing, but then I'm thinking, no way, there's too much, too much involved, too much lean forward involved. 
Yeah, it's not like uh, Journey or anything like that. No, no, definitely not. But it still has those moments. I guess like, well, there's like that sort of zen, but then there's the idea of when you do a repetitive, like even making a cup of tea can be zen, despite the fact it's... But isn't isn't that the whole thing with, you no? Know, was it Buddhists or Samurais with their tea ceremonies? And... Yeah, that was pretty much their idea. It's just getting into that rhythm and that the the ritual of something. And I guess if you're playing a game like this, there is that sort of function there, like where you're like, okay, just I focus on completing a task. Yeah, kind of just like or... you don't even care. It's it's not high stakes. You're just a dude going through levels. So maybe talking ball. about because I mentioned bounce on the phone earlier for the it was on an old Nokia phone. Oh, it the could, unbeatable phone. It could be, yeah, you know, standard reason. This was it's a good good example of like a casual game for you know like jump in jump yeah, out. Yeah, I mean on a phone or something it could work better. Well, that's what I found interesting even when I was working as a high school teacher was you'd see kids there and they're just like totally engrossed in this sort of basically a game that would have been on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, well, as long as they're engrossed in it just while they're waiting to go in the class or yeah, something. Yeah, no, that's not when I they'll them. get there, they'll get there and they'll be like, fuck off, sir. I'm playing Flappy Bird. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to ask your phone. Fuck off, you can't take it, no me rights. <laughs> This is against me rights. This is injustice. Oh, mate, you're a regular Rodney King up in here. <laughs> but, like, that's the bullshit of it. But anyway, staying on focus, the the idea that you can have those games and there's something about them mm. that transcends the console, the era, the level of technology, I do find that interesting with games. And I do like when you can sit there and go back and play these old games. Like, even Columns. Like, I bought that for my parents for the Sega. Yeah, that's a very... Because just- because we came home one day as kids and like we had the Sega, we thought we were cool, and we came home and found my mum and dad playing columns <laughs> <laughs> on dad's day off, and they're just like, <laughs> like no, no, no. And I, so like I came home from the markets that day. You, you were there when I bought it. I rang home. And yeah, I was like, yeah. Was it columns you guys used to play at the time? I'm like, yeah, why? Never mind. <laughs> just hang up. <laughs> the was, only game I could ever get my my dad to play was Moto Racer on PlayStation 1 because he used to race motocross. Because he has the need, the need yeah, the, speed. Yeah. He used to race motorbikes and my mum would only play uh, Super Mario Kart because we'd have like Mario Kart Family Challenge. Yeah. That was the only time that... I suppose that's a good... That's, Plus that works for that nuclear family, the two kids and the two adults. It's like mad. It, it does work, those four-play games. He had like a fifth I kid. I suppose. We, we, um, we, we used to just push Sam to the side and pretend he didn't exist. It's like... <laughs> We, I'd, I'd hardly call us like the nuclear family, but I suppose that is like one of those actual family moments we had. No, no. When I say nuclear family, I mean two adults, two kids. Ah, oh, right, right. Everything right. that's designed yeah, but, is uh, designed for that two adult, two kids. But there's still that thing of the nuclear family, you know, like being real buttoned down. That, those uh, people always slaughter like goats when no one's watching, I swear to God. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. Enjoy Supermorph. Um, well, if you can get your hands on it, try it. Yeah. Um, See if you can't. Oh, do I advocate that? Emulators. Yeah. Do I don't know. It's, 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 it's do we want to take like a, a uh, an ethical stance on emulators? Are we going to? I don't have a particular stance on emulators. I know there's a bit of a stigma there, but are we going to be like Pete? People for the ethical treatment of emulators. <laughs> nah. Well, just if it what it was evidenced by it fucking up, we were playing this on an actual. Yeah. Ne- uh, super SNES. But um, yeah, so Supermorph, try and get your hands on it because we were actually having a bit of fun with it. Um, yeah, that's, I like being a cloud. <laughs> as so for this one, where the modest strong goes, and um, don't forget like, comment, subscribe. It's probably I, I'll just guess that down there somewhere. You you've been on YouTube a while now. You've got this down pat. You know how to do it. Yeah, don't play hard to get. And then there's um, go on Facebook and share us with everyone because that'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and we post random shit on Facebook as well beyond our episodes. Like today, we learnt about honey badgers. <laughs> Stoffel the honey badger. Right, eh? Before it drags out too long, peace out, homies. See you later. Is there a mute button on there? Yes, there is. Yes, right. Ah, okay, good one. <laughs> okay.